don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's the first Saturday of a brand new month, the 4th of December, which means it's time for the penultimate Mission Inspiration Art Challenge over in our Facebook group. So um, what I'll do is I'll turn over to my over camera, show you the prompts for the month of December and then show you what I'm going to create based on those prompts. Okay, so these are the prompts for December. So we've got landscapes, seasonal fantasy, urban city or calming country. Colours we've got are grey, moss and coffee or thereabouts. And ingredients, scribbles, texture, metallic, washi tape and a magazine. So magazine image, magazine text, magazine fragments, whatever you want really. Um, metallic, that could be anything from pieces of metallic to foiling to metallic paints, to metallic pens, to anything you can think of. Um, washi tape speaks for itself, scribbles, incorporate those wherever you want. So, I know it's December, so traditionally we do a kind of festive Christmassy kind of theme, but this year I thought we'd do something different. Um, because, like I've said before, um, for some, December and Christmas is uh, barbecues on the beach, sunshine, summer, for us, it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere um, and it's dark and dingy and horrible. Um, so we like to brighten things up with red, greens and golds and that kind of stuff. But, you know, it can be anything you want. You don't have to do a seasonal or a festive page just because it's December. Um, there's nothing stopping you from doing any kind of project that you want. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So I'm not going to do a seasonal landscape. I'm not going to do a fantasy landscape. I'm going to tilt between urban and calming country. So colours that I've got, we've got grey, moss and coffee. So let me show you what colours I've pulled out. I don't have a particular moss colour. So instead what I've got are these two deco art Americana paints. So I've got forest green and I've got desert cactus. So I'm going to use two different shades of green. So I've got, sorry, three shades of green. Ha ha, can't count there, look. So the other one is olive. So that says olive green. So I've got three different shades of green, which I'm going to use. So for the brown, I've also got three shades of brown. So I've got dark chocolate, terracotta, and honey brown which I'm also going to incorporate into the project. I've obviously got my obligatory white because you're allowed to use white without any problems at all. And for the greys, I've got slate grey and I've also got morning mist, which is a kind of purpley, um, heathery kind of grey. So I've also got a bottle of the Dina Wakely Elephant, but I don't know whether there's anything left in that. I think it might be empty, but hey ho. So we've got white. We've got greys, we've got browns, and we've got greens. Okay, magazine-wise. Um, I haven't actually got any magazine magazines, but I have got this Kitchen Inspiration magazine. Um, Ian and I are thinking of remodelling the kitchen next year um, into something more like that. But in here, you see we've got inspirations for... You've got pictures... We've got colours, we've got block shapes, we've got greys. So I'm going to use some fragments from this. Um, so the project that I'm going to try and recreate, or I've used for my inspiration, is this um, photograph, and it's kind of dark. But it's a photograph of um, Central Park in New York. Um, and there's a little bridge there. It's like a humpback bridge. Now, Last time Ian and I were in New York was way back in 2002, I think. Um, and we walked through Central Park to the zoo. And I think we actually did cross over this bridge. Um, but the reason I've chosen this is because it not only has it got for it, well, it's got trees, so calming country, but it's also got skyscrapers in the background. So urban city. So this is going to be perfect for what I want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and recreate this in, in, in as much as I possibly can. But instead of doing um, 
too much of a blue sky. I will bring in some blue, but I will try and tone it down with a little bit of grey because I do want these skyscrapers to kind of, or the buildings in the background to kind of stand out, if you know what I mean. So that's going to be my inspiration. Ingredients, so scribbles. You'll see what I'm going to do for those later. Texture. Now I've got some texture paste, which I'm also going to mix in with a little bit of paint. You'll see what I'm going to do there. Metallic. Again, I'll show you later. <laughs> let's just get started, shall we? Anyway, um, rather than giving all the game away. So let's just move all that over there. I have got some washi tapes out, by the way. Um, I've got some grey washi tapes. Well, that one's a bit of brown washi tape, just with text on it. That one's got, um, I think... Coney Island, Times Square, I think actually that that is places in New York anyway. Um, and then we've got some numbers. All right, so my journal, this is the last page for 2021. So the only page that I haven't used is this one. And that's because it was supposed to be for the non-Halloween version of October, which I haven't done yet. Um, but I will do to complete the journal before I put this to bed. So before the end of the year's out, I'll finish that other page as well. Okay, so let's just get started. Let me just bring in a pencil. I've got a Stabilo all watercolor pencil here, and I'm going to try and kind of demark um, my page, sort of half and half. So I'm just going to kind of just do a bit of wavy line. And this is kind of going to be my foreground, and this is going to be the background. So what I want to do is grab my Kitchen Inspiration magazine, and let's start. Actually, I kind of like these blocks. I'm liking the way that they're there already, giving us kind of skyscraperish skyscraper shapes if that is such a word skyscrapery is it a word well it is not. I've just said it so let's do now I've got to be careful when I'm doing this because I don't want the scale to be too big that it's overpowering and I don't want it to be too small that it's insignificant. So the colours in here are kind of grey, which is okay. So we've got that. Let's just get rid of that. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'll just drop the size of that down a little bit. Right, so we've got two. Let's just get some more. Let's just get some more. So let's have a look. What else have we got? I think those are the only ones. So let's just have that page as well. I think I want this one. Which incidentally is the style of kitchen that Ian and I want to go for. Um, either dark blue or dark gray cabinets with a lighter worktop, which is the exact opposite of what we've got at the moment. We've got white cabinets and a black worktop. I don't mind it, to be honest, but I'm not a fan of the white gloss. The kitchen was already in when we bought the house. Um, we just got to the house to put the order in for the house just after, I think it was a couple of days after we'd already installed the kitchen, so we couldn't choose what kitchen we wanted which was a bit disappointing, but we did get a discount. <laughs> okay, so we've got three blocks there. So what I wanna do is maybe bring that in and let's just tear. And I can overlap a little bit. Out there. And 
and yeah, that's it about there. And then maybe I'll just use some scissors. Just make it a bit thinner. It's going to kind of give us the impression, I think, of buildings. Okay, so before we go any further, before I start gluing anything down, I need to add some colour onto the page. So, paintbrush. Yes. Some towel just to dry that off. So I've got that nice kind of morning mist colour. So let me just shake it up first. Shake it to wake it, as they say. There we go. So that nice kind of grey morning mist. But I'm also going to use some of this um, blue paint from Indigo Blue. So this was a, a mistake colour. Um, it arrived and it should have been a one particular shade and it was a different one so they couldn't actually use it because they'd never released a colour like this. Um, people say it looks like a periwinkle blue. That's nice, don't mind that. Right, so let's mix some of that blue and the grey together and I'm gonna go across the sky so I'm leaving those kind of bluish tones in there. In fact let's just have a few more just to kind of pull it out a little bit. I always find flat matte colours work well when they're kind of blended with maybe some other colours. You don't get necessarily all one tone. do for that. So drop that back in some water and then what I want to do is quickly wash the brush before it dries completely. And then just give that a wipe just to clear my palette. And then I'm going to bring in the darker green Splutter that there, I didn't shape that up very well um, And that cactus, desert cactus But also, not only but also, I want to bring in some of that brown So Let's have a splodge of that there and I've dribbled, paint's decided and it wants to come out, there we go. Just wipe its mouth. <laughs> All right. So what did I do with the brush? There it is. Let's just mix up that binder a little bit and then get a little bit of the brown and then I'm going to bring it this way. So this is just a ground we want with the final but I wanted it kind of different colours just to get started so we are going to be sticking 
of skyscrapers over the top. Okay, so let me just quickly dry that. That's the beauty of acrylic paint, it dries super quick. And you can tidy up as you're going. <laughs> okay, so see, there's always one little bit that gets away. Okay, so that bit's dry now. So let me bring back my magazine fragments. I've got some glue. So let's glue these down. Actually, I kind of like that one. So so first of all, let's glue you up here. And then we'll do. Have I lost one? Oh, don't tell me I've lost another one. Weird. No, I haven't. There we go. So then we'll use this one. And then we'll put that over here. And then before we glue this one down, I just want to take that corner out, just because. Whoops. Dropsy. Two smaller ones. One like that. But let's overlap. And then this one will take a bit off there. And we'll take a bit off there. Take a bit off there, a little bit off there, just to kind of give it a little bit of variation. And then we'll stick that one kind of in the middle. Okay. So now we've got the beginnings of our little urban landscape. Not worry too much about the glue. Let me just push my finger into the crease. There we go. And then I just need to leave that for a second or two. a bit straighter. Some of my buildings aren't straight. <laughs> They're all skew with. Anyway, that's fine. Okay, back in a more. Right, so they've had a few minutes just to kind of sit. So I now just want to bring in that brown. Another paintbrush. So, what I want to do is now just kind of start to f 
follow that line sort of where we kind of wanted that tree line originally if you remember so let me just bring some more in and I'm just going round I'm just kind of pouncing with the brush because I don't want straight lines just diffusing off and then I'm just going to come down here towards the bottom of the page and just gradually go a little bit lighter so we've got some of that green showing through like that okay so happy with that let's get that dried Okay, now I've managed to get a bit of brown paint up there in the sky, so I'm going to just kind of touch that out. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of that grey. dry brush I think. Alright, so let's try that again. Okay, sort of disguised. That will do for me. Right, tidy time. Tidy, tidy time. So it's really, really nice and quiet today. Mr. Bentley's had a really long walk this morning and Ian's away on the south coast uh, at a steampunk event. So I've got the house to myself pretty much. Alright, let me just see if I can get that piece there keeps flopping up. There it is. So let's just grab a little bit of glue. And stick it down. Disappearing purple glue, it's great stuff. Right. Okay, so now I'm a small brush again. Dry it off. And this time I'm gonna grab that slate grey, because we used the morning mist grey so this is a darker grey now and I'm going to take a little bit of that and then we're just going to just go over a little bit these skyscrapers I'm just going to knock back don't worry about I'm not going to lose definition I just 
just don't want them to look too magazine-y. Don't mind having some of the, the details showing through. I don't want too much. That's fine. Okay. I'm happy with that now. Again, let's get it dried off. Okay, so next thing, washi tape. So I'm not going to use a huge amount of washi tape. Just going to use a little. And I'm going to put it just in line with the skyscrapers. just a little bit we just there like I said we don't want or don't need a huge amount Ingredients call for washi, so it just doesn't matter whether you only put a tiny, tiny bit in. If it's there, it's there, it's included. I don't think we'll bother with the other one. I'm okay with those two. And again, grab the brush, and I'm just going to take a little bit of the grey. Oh, I've still got some left. And then we'll just Turn that down. So the washi tape is in there. So we've got the magazine. We'll grab the checklist in a second. Okay. So where's the checklist? So, so far we've got all three colours. So we've got the grey, the moss, the coffee. And we've got uh, washi tape and magazine fragments. Now we're starting to build up with the layers of the magazine and the washi tape. So we're getting some texture layers there as well, but oh, we'll be adding some more in. Okay, so. Let's just remove that grey. That's it. And again, I just want to dry off whatever paint is there. Probably will already be dry, but... That'll do. Okay, next step. Let's bring that green back. Green back the slang term for money. An American term perhaps. Not sure. I'm sure people will tell me. In the UK we had a cartoon character back when I was a kid. Um, the baddie was called Baron Greenback. The character was called Danger Mouse. It was a secret agent mouse. Okay, fan brush. So what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start building up some tree.
texture. So this is the reason why we started off with the brown. Channel in a bit of Bob Ross. Some happy little trees. God bless him. I was watching or caught one of the Bob Ross episodes recently and his son was the painter in it. Bob stood to one side and let his son go. That's the first time I've seen his son in one. It's not necessarily one of the type of programs that I would normally watch. I know there was Bob Ross, but wasn't there another one called Paint Along With Nancy or something? Was that a British one? I don't know. I can't remember. Paint along with Nancy. <laughs> Great name. Okay, so while that's still wet, I'm going to come in with the other colours of green. So this is the lighter green, which is the desert cactus, the dessert cactus. And again, Pick up some of that. So we've got different, nothing quite discernible. I'm not going for like individual trees or anything like that. I just want a kind of do and then finally let me bring in that real kind of greeny color it's almost a lime isn't it and then just grab some of that on the edges and then I can start my bee be just too dark, a bit too bright maybe. That's okay, I can always just pick some of that darker. That'll do, that'll do. For now, let's get that dried off. Okay, so next up, scribbles. So I want, I need, what's that PN mean? Pen nib? Oh, maybe. Will this write on here? I don't know. So scribbles. Maybe not. Let me just go grab another one. Oh, ow. Oh, did you hear me knee crack then? Poor old bugger. Right, let's see what we got. 0 0.5, yeah, that can be big enough, maybe one, another two here somewhere. 0 0.3, 0 0.8, 0 0.5, maybe. You're wondering what we're talking about. Pen nib size, okay. So, one mil. Let me just clear this out of the way. Because knowing me. Okay. Not 
quite got there. I'll just do another quick clean. I've run out of wet wipes. I normally have baby wipes on hand. Oop, nearly lost my coffee then. Is it cold yet? Hmm, not quite. Okay, so let's start with the one. That'll do. So I'm going to start to define. of the skyscrapers and let's add maybe some scribbles Just a few. See, I'm just starting to define. the tops bit of cross hatching bit of scribbling never did anyone any harm Okay, so we've got scribbles up there in that skyscrapery thing now. So now we'll do some more scribbles just to kind of define This will just help to kind of break up the bottom also. Just add a bit more kind of definition, even though it doesn't actually outline anything in particular. But it does help. just to kind of finish off maybe even if you're just scribbling a path down at the bottom like so okay so that's scribbles so Texture, we said we'd add a little bit more texture in there, didn't we? Okay, so <coughs> texture paste. Alright, just grab my fan brush. So what I want to 
I'll do now is I've got uh, I did have a spatula that one's got paint on it can't use that one there we go Look how dirty this one is okay Texture paste, and we add a little bit of water to it. And I'm going to take my fan brush. I'm just going to add. I bet you thought I was going to do clouds. <laughs> okay, that's the brush cleaned. So we've added some texture paste in there as well, plus we've built up layers of texture with the layers of the washi tape and magazine paint. Okay, so let's just grab a little bit of that light grey. Tiny, tiny bit. And we'll grab that tiny paintbrush again. I'll mix up a little bit of that texture paste then and now Now the sky will be a sort of gritty grey. Okay. Let me just get this cleared up. Okay, so let me just zoom in a little bit. There we go. So we're actually on to the page now. You can actually see what I'm doing. So the final piece of the puzzle for this month is metallic. So we've got the scribbles in, we've got the texture in, we've got washi tape, we've got magazine, we've got the colours, and we've definitely got a landscape. So I have this. This is a Uni Posca paint pen, uh, gold, um, let me just take that plastic off, there we go, you can see it better now. Um, yeah, so this has been kicking around in my stash for absolutely ages and ages and ages, so I'm going to use this. Since it's oil based and it's opaque, marks on anything. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I've given it a shake and I've tested it and I've woke it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start just adding in some gold detail on my skyscrapers. Don't have to do a lot. a little let me turn that over that way I will have the danger of getting my elbow in it it's 
So I'm just randomly adding blocks of gold paint just as little accents and highlights. There's no kind of real rhyme or reason or method. Just random and I might even just put a little bit of gold as though the sun is catching the tops of those masts as well. And I'm just picking up imaginary windows, if you like. How does that look? No, don't answer that. And you could, if you wanted to, also pick out, just add Maybe some gold highlights in your tree line. As part of your scribbles, just to kind of blend it and catch that light. You see it's catching the light here. Possibly even do it so it catches the light under the trees. Almost like the traffic line. <laughs> you can see cars and stuff behind it. There we go, I think. That'll do for me. I think I've got everything I need in there now, so I'll just quickly give that a wipe. There we go. So let's just bring in my sheet again. So Let's just tick off so we've now got metallic elements in the page as well. So scribbles, yes, texture, yes, metallic, yes, washi tape, yes, magazine, yes, grey, moss and green. There you go. So there you have it. There is my art journal page for the month of December 2021. So I'm just going to finish off by signing it at the bottom and putting today's date. What's today's date? It's the 4th, isn't it, of course? 4th, 12, 21. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create my last main art journal page for the Mission Inspiration Challenges for 2021. We've got one left. So this is the penultimate. We've got one mid-month mini mission left in December and that's it for 2021. It's going to be a wrap on the month, on the year. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, 
you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. But also, if you want to join us over on our Mission Inspiration Facebook group, there's the URL on the screen now, but there will be a clickable link in the description area below. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're reading this on my blog or watching this on my blog, there'll also be a link down in the text. So that's all from me. I'll see you all again very, very soon. <coughs> Excuse me, I definitely need that coffee now. Mm. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.